Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Face shave time, I'm going to be using the same products I used in my head shave. It worked beautifully, I got an amazing result. Better than any other DE razor I think that I've used on my head, believe it or not. So, you know what the razor is because it's named at the start, it's the car, Christopher Bradley razor in aluminium. And I'm really looking forward to using it on my face. Now the soap for today while the sink is filling up is Ariana and Evans St. Bart's which is basically a, a homage, a duplicate, a clone of Creed Virgin Island waters. Coconut, a bit of rum, a bit of lime. It's just a beautiful scent. It really is. That's what the soap looks like. That one, I don't know why that's went like that with all the white dots all over it. Now the brush is my That Darn Rob brush. Now this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Now this has been through three shaving dens, I believe, since it was made. I've got no idea how it managed to end up in my den, but I am absolutely over the moon. I've seen this brush when it was first made and posted by Rob. So I've just dipped it, as you can see the tips on that as well. Stunning. Dipped it in the water, and here we go. I'm just so happy now I can actually get a grip on these tubs. going to dip the tips just a little bit, very lightly. Now, I watched the video back on YouTube. My latest video using this camera, which is the front-facing camera on the Samsung S10 Plus. And I have to say, I was actually quite impressed with it. I thought the focusing took a little bit of time. It wasn't the best at focusing and actually picking up on areas of my face and when I was trying to get close-ups of the razor. But there may be some settings that I can mess about with to get that better. But one thing I really liked, now if you guys out there watch, watch my channel or any, anyone else's channels on YouTube, on a latest model phone, Samsung, iPhone, you know, Oppo, whatever the other ones are, Huawei, and it's got a massive screen on it, you want to zoom out and use that full screen. Now I record this in full mode, which covers my whole screen of my Samsung Galaxy, and covers it all up. Now what that does is whenever I created my video, produced it, rendered it, and put it on Facebook, on YouTube, sorry, when you initially watch it, it takes up, so it doesn't fill the whole screen, top, bottom, left and right. It leaves a, a gap all the way around. So if you pinch your screen out and pull it to full size, it actually pulls the whole picture to the full screen. Which in turn gives you a full screen view of the, exactly what I'm recording. You can see it in the full screen. It's not cutting anything off. You see it as it is on the video. And it's brilliant. I was really impressed with it. The video quality was excellent. I thought, I think it makes me look pretty. It, it, it sort of almost does your face up a little bit with that auto beauty mode or whatever they call it. I was also surprised that it did it in 4, 60 frames per second. I was amazed. I couldn't believe it was 60 frames per second on my phone. So it was 1440p, I think, on the phone, which isn't 4K, but it's better than 1080p. I don't know whether it's 4K on the big screen. I don't know. I haven't recorded it in 4K. I've recorded it in ultra high definition, which is 1440p. I don't know whether you can hear my wife singing in the background. It's like a drowning cat. A bit of Michael Jackson on a Saturday morning. So, in other news, my dad flies in today. My gran hasn't been very well either, which I'm at a, my gran had a stroke last week. Now she's in her, I think she's in her 90s now, she's 93, I think. Her age 80, I got 89 or so, so she's had a good innings. She's always been a very hard-working, fit, active, healthy woman, right up until probably she was about 75. And then she started with a bit of sort of dementia and 
getting very aggressive and she still thinks that her, she thinks that her brother and her sister and stuff are visiting her in hospital but my uh, her brother and sister died like 30 years ago so she's seeing people and meeting people but she's happy you know she's happy <laughs> in her own crazy little way in her own crazy little world she's happy and I was a bit worried about my dad coming over given that he didn't take my grandfather passing away very well he really struggled with that well his dad and that, that's understandable I'll be the same I'll be, it'll be a, a horrible day when it comes it'll, Really, you, your only hope in life, your major hope, is that your kids don't die before you do, really. So, that, that's something that, that and always stays with me. I, I don't want to pass away before my kids do. I don't want... Eh, sorry, I don't want my kids to pass away before I do. I think it's... You want to watch your whole kid's life and, and live as long as you can and get as much out of watching them grow and... Go through all the challenges of life. Look at this ladder. That is freaking unbelievable. Freaking. There you go. That one's from Nomeo Shaves. How you doing, Nomeo? Nomeo Shaves. Still don't know where he got that from. Leroy. Top bloke. Really nice guy. But that's a cracker ladder. Ariana and Evans. Even tastes quite nice. Right. I've got the Carve Christopher Bradley razor in aluminium. Now this one has got the C plate in it. I'm going to switch that out right now. Or am I? No, I'm going to leave the C plate on. I want to see how this shaves. I've got about 17 hours growth, 18 hours growth. I want to see how this shaves. It's so little growth and see if I get any irritation from it. C plate, super stainless despoiler, Gillette vintage blade. About 8th or 9th use or something. The lather's actually probably just a little bit too dry. But it's clearing out perfectly. Come on, you, you swine. I know, I know my face is beautiful, but I want you to zoom in on that. As you can see there, it clears out instantly. This is just an amazing razor. Yeah. Do you know something? That's the first pass I've ever done a face shave with the car of Christopher Bradley razor and aluminium. And I have to honestly say, I think I prefer it. In fact, I do, I prefer it over the stainless and brass versions. I do have a, a slight liking. I do, I'm not slight, I really enjoy aluminium razors. They're lighter. I control the pressure. I can really feel every... Look at that. Boy. That ladder. That's absolutely delicious. Not to eat. Delicious for the eyes. Here we go across the grain with the car of Christopher Bradley razor in aluminium. I'm still using minimal pressure. pressure all. Now because it's aluminium you have to use some. You 
you can't get away with more pressure. I can't remember the type of stainless steel this is, but this is pretty high quality of stainless steel. It's the same stuff they use on the on sort of space machines. Space machines. I can't fucking think straight today. Aircrafts. <laughs> Thirty, thirty-four, or something. I can't remember. The anodizing that goes onto this razor is absolutely impeccable. There's not a single, there's not a blemish on this razor, it looks. Yeah. Coming from the secret artisan to Ariane and Evans, you really, really notice the residual slickness. It's, a, it's an instant thing. Pass number three. Ladder number three. Yeah. The brush is performing so well. The soap's incredible. The razor is a knockout. Notice how yellow my teeth look in this camera. That's, that's pretty rank. Wow. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Now, albeit the car, Chris, the Bradley range of razors, be it the peak plastic, aluminium, stainless, or brass, the dimensions of the handles, the razor, the head, the top cap, everything. Are identical. All it is is different metals and different preferences. But that is an amazingly close shave. Actually. Just touch up around the lips. And I don't think I've got any weepers, cuts, nicks, anything at all. Superb. And so,
Well, I don't think a double edged safety razor comes much better than that, to be honest. Now, I love the Christopher Bradley Carve razor, you, you guys know that. I've used it for pretty much two years now, almost exclusively for face shaves. And now I've got my leaf razor and I've got the Tatara Masamuni Madachi. We have the Thai Calypso R1, and that's it, that's all the double edged razors that I have in the day now. I've got a few cartridge razors and I've got the stainless, super stainless, whatever it is, the, the Feather SS Artists Club. The Chevette. And I think, actually, I don't think. That's the first time I've used that razor on my face. I can easily say it's the best razor I've used on my face. I enjoyed that so far way more than I do the cut, the stainless and the brass. The actual shave, not the look of it or anything like that. I think it looks beautiful in the black and red. I think it look better in black and green. Oh, you can see there, I've got a bit of soap in there. Can you see that? Right in the middle. Just that little clump there. That's the sort of thing that you want to get out of your brush. You don't want to leave that lying in there. You want to get all the soap out. The only thing you want in your brush drying and evaporating is water. Give it a real good flick out again and hopefully I think we should have it this time. All I'm doing here, you can't really see on camera if I go back to the back, you'll see just really quick flicks. And all I'm flicking really is the very tips of the brush onto the towel. And you can see now that that knot is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And it really is. That's an amazing knot. Not as good as the Simpsons. Probably not as good as the Morrison Forms in terms of density or anything. And it's not as good as the Fan Turing, but it's a very nice knot. Right, so for today was Ariana and Evans St. Bart's, which is a duplicate or a clone of Creed Virgin Island Waters, coconut, rum, lime, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm so chuffed with that shave, I really am. I mean, it never looks like I've had a shave to be honest, but that's pretty darn close for me. I'm really happy with that. I'm happy with the beauty mode, making me look a little bit more swishy, you know, a bit more sophisticated on the camera. It even hides it, you can, I don't know whether you can see that, but when I pull my head down, I can see my wrinkles in the mirror really clear. But they're gone. Or they're not gone, but they, you can see the camera sort of absorbing them and making them go away. I look younger. <laughs> it's, great. it's a funny old camera. I quite like it. Good job. The iPhone's never done this before. It's never made me look younger. Right. The razor, sorry, the brush was that darn Rob. 26mm. Look at the colours in that. It is absolutely gorgeous. This man knows how to make a cast for a brush. He's not so sensational. The handles are beautiful. It's a great way to... It's quite heavy. If you don't like a heavy, heavy brush, then I wouldn't possibly pop for a, that damn rob or one of these resin ones. Go for something with wood or, I don't know, maybe like a, a lighter sort of plastic. Maybe one like Omega where it's actual real plastic. But then again, it doesn't matter what brush you get. Unless it's wood or metal, it's not eco-friendly. All my brushes aren't eco-friendly apart from the aluminium one and the wooden ones. And that's really, that's the major downside to these type of brushes and shaving. The, the upside is, that'll last forever. In all honesty, if my kids get into it and my, their kids and their kids and their kids and their kids, this brush, maybe not the knot, but the handle could be around forever. It probably will be around forever. There's no way that's going to degrade over time, unless they find a way to get rid of plastics by natural process or whatever they can do. So I'm going to finish off today with Ariana and Evans. Come on. Focus. St. Bart's. There's Ariana and Evans logo. So, this is difficult. This has always been difficult. I'm trying to get a splash with a broken arm in my hand. So a good bit there, a good dog there. I'm going to slap it on my head. Jesus, that smells incredible. Now this smells far superior to the soap. Oh, it smells like a lime coconut popsicle ice cream, ice lolly. I'm just going to 
to have some more on there on the face now. There's no burn on my head at all, and I tell you, there's extremely minimal burn on my face. This does have alcohol in it, so the fact that I'm not getting really any reaction at all tells me I've had a super shave, and I really did have a super head and face shave today. And yes, it's a great soap, it's a great brush, it's you know, it's, it's great post shave. The champion in this shave is ultimately the razor. The razor did the job of getting me BBS on my head and very, very close to my face with extremely minimal irritation. I'm amazed how that gets rid of wrinkles. I'm quite happy with that. I look about 10 years younger, surely. <laughs> right, I'm done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed that. Cracking razor. If you like a lighter razor, if you like to spend less money on your razor, because this is cheaper than the brass and the stainless, it's absolutely, I think it's cheap, I'm sure it is. I think this is 80 bucks, I think, Canadian, when it's available. And they will be available within the next month or two, I think. I'm not sure how many they're churning out. The, the actual anodizing process is the bit that takes the time, not making the, the actual razor, but getting it anodized. The person that he chose, he, cho he went through a few different people, ended up with this person that makes these of this company, and it anodizes it. The anodizing is absolutely impeccable, it's flawless. And I will show that in a comparison video between this and the above the tie and get some nice close-ups hopefully of them and show you how good they really are. I don't know when I'll do that, but I will get to it. And other than that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.